Hi, I want to talk about the corkscrew manoeuvre or the rising point of interest manoeuvre. It's basically a point of interest with an added dimension. We begin with the drone going sideways, either direction is okay, and then with an opposing rudder direction indicated in the red and yellow arrows. It's best if you try this point of interest manoeuvre on a stationary object that way it avoids complications with travelling. Once you've mastered the point of interest manoeuvre, you add in an extra dimension, basically adding lift into the left stick input, indicated by the blue arrows. There's a readout at the bottom of the screen, or the camera view, of VS. I normally push up the throttle stick so the VS reads at least one or two, so it's rising. I also find out that the stock expose for the drone itself is a little too difficult to manoeuvre. I find that the desensitised expose for lift uh, hinders the manoeuvre of the corkscrew. So I basically straighten them out. It's virtually a straight diagonal line, as you can see here. The rudder expose is basically desensitised a bit more, so it doesn't um, shake as much. and the forward and right stick is basically the same. The final movement now is the gimbal tilt. I find that adding gimbal tilt along with the rising corkscrew adds a parallax effect which is supposed to make a more cinematic effect. The yellow and red arrows indicate which direction you should turn your gimbals towards and as you can see I've also added the advanced settings for adjusting the gimbal speed which helps a lot especially when you're only doing minor corrections on the gimbal. In the final example I show you the uh, point of interest manoeuvre with a gimbal tilt downwards. I hope this tutorial helps you with your manoeuvres and practicing cinematic shots. Join me again at the live join broadcast channel for some more hints and tips or visit www.patreon.com forward slash my dog is dead for more